I, I, I'm not a member of the, the parliament <laughs> for the vinyl community. So, uh, <laughs> Okay, I didn't realize uh, it was a parliamentary body. That's that's yeah. Good there's people. Know. There's people that just self-appoint themselves to to make make uh, okay. decisions and rules. Welcome in to another edition of something we like to call snob versus douche. He's the that's snob. Great. I'm the douche. Um, we're gonna do our little two by two today, where we, you know, each of us picks two albums and then forces the other to listen to them, and then, you know, we share our thoughts about them here. And we're also gonna talk about some highlights and lowlights of um, recent music releases. Here we are in uh, the end of the first quarter of 2024. How are you doing, sir? Okay. Um, as I already uh, told you, I, I'm a little little behind on the music. I'm not quite uh, up to date on on March yet, but uh, had a productive uh, January and February, and yeah. uh, dipped dipped my toe into the first you know week or so of of March, uh, reviewing all that stuff, uh, checking it all out, seeing what uh, what I was missing, but. Uh, um, but yeah, still found, uh, you know, a handful of really great, uh, stuff, uh, out there on the, on the streamers and, uh, yeah. How do you feel about, how do you feel about 2024 so far? Let's say in relation to recent years, you feel, feel like you're finding stuff or is it still, still hot, tough going for you? Well, you know, I, I, I at, at first it was a little tough going and I was a little worried, but then, you know, you realize that, oh, well, no one releases much in January or February. So it's, it's a slower period. Um, and, uh, I feel like, I feel like it's picking up. I mean, you know, part of what I do is I keep track of, you know, I have a spreadsheet of all the releases coming up so I can keep organized and I can check them all off and, you know, figure out what I'm interested in. Um, right. And yeah, I mean, it's it's just going to be the same the same uh, 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 business. Uh, it starts to pick up here in March, and um, I'm sure uh, May is going to be very busy. Uh, September will be very busy, uh, but uh, but yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of a lot of interesting releases coming out in the next few months for sure. Get as the you kind of get clarity into you know, things start getting announced here um, leading up to them. Yeah, I'm looking forward to hearing, um, uh, you know, some of your picks uh, just because you seem to always have Europe covered. And I don't... Oh, Europe. Yeah, you have whole, <laughs> all of Europe covered, it seems. Uh, really good indie pop. You, you have a good pulse on that. And uh, it's always good to get that um, integrated into uh what i'm aware of which is mainly the, the us because it's just it's easier to tell <laughs> as far as i can see but yeah yeah so we just get uh get things get things started here yeah i think we can get into the two by two you're uh you're you've got the first pick so feel free yeah the first one i chose was um artist called the bbs and that's like the letter b the letter v apostrophe s the bb's and uh their third lp called taking pictures of taking pictures it's their third lp from augsburg <laughs> germany <See? laughs> kind yeah. of kind of indie pop but then with um with some more experimental moments i'm interested to hear what you think of Taking pictures of taking pictures by the BBs. Uh, yeah, th that one wasn't on my radar, so uh, glad to pick it up. I I did really enjoy it. Um, you know, they've got a I think a great in uh, just vintage indie pop sound. You know, lots of jangle, uh, some other elements uh, certainly mixed in, um, even a little bit of kraut rock probably. At, at times, yeah. uh, but uh, best song by far on the album is uh, Breakdown. Love that song. Handful of other songs are really good. 
um, overall, you know, a really decent release. Uh, I'd give it, you know, three and a half to four stars, I would say, if we're, you know, going to start rating things like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to if you'd like. Um, yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> this is one I pre-ordered. I was, I pre-ordered this. I, uh, I was highly anticipating its release. I okay. actually, I, I'm glad that you liked it. I thought you might have to take issue with, with some of it. So it kind of comes out of the gate with like a string of kind of Sarah ask jangle pop, like hits, like there's just a lot of hits yep. there to me at the, at the beginning. Then the album kind of turns more inward. It's a little bit darker. Some people I think would say it's mildly experimental. It's a little, little droney, little kraut rocky before it yep. kind of comes back around. Um, like to, to the more um, pop, indie pop structured songs towards the end. So I really like how the album is structured in that way. It doesn't. Um, it's not top heavy. It's not just the best songs right up at front. I mean, there are some, but yeah, you'll find so that a lot. Coincidentally, the next album you talk about, I had I, I had already had comparisons not that they sound the same and we'll get there in a second but i just yeah. found the album the experience of the whole album very satisfying in that way um sure yeah definitely one i'm I, like high up on my list for me okay i probably like it so a bit far. more than you I, I yeah i definitely think i like it a I bit more so. than you yeah 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 the the bvs taking pictures of taking pictures yeah, for whatever reason, I, you know, and I, I'm familiar with shelf life, but it just didn't it didn't hit my radar for whatever reason. Guided by your hand, unbelief, and it's not you. It's not you. It's not you. Sugar cake, sugar cake, sugar cake. My next pick, or my first pick, is uh, an album from uh, Ducks Limited, uh, formerly known as Ducks Unlimited. They got into some legal trouble and they changed their name at some point. Uh, Ducks Limited, uh, the album's called uh, Harm's Way. It's out on uh, Car Park uh, Records. Um, just, you know, more jangly uh, indie pop, which, you know, is, is my thing. Uh, for sure. Uh, they are uh, out of Toronto. Um, and uh, second record, second proper full length record. Uh, they have some EPs and singles and stuff you can get. Um, uh, but, you know, I just found that it was just a solid record from start to finish. You know, not a bad song on the record. Uh, you know, definitely just about as strong as their 2021 debut, Modern Fiction. Uh, really, really dig them. They're, they're, they're great. So what, what were your thoughts? Yeah, this is another one that was, that I pre-ordered. It was highly anticipated. I was a pretty big fan of, of modern fiction. It was in my top, I don't know, top some albums of, of, of 2021. This is kind of, I would say Django, like Django pop performed with a surgical precision. It's, um, like it's, it's just it's just done at a very high level the 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 performances i would yeah. say um i love it at 27 minutes so it's nine tracks 27 minutes i just think i would say i might not love it the same if it was 45 minutes because it's it, it kind of is very samey it's it's relentless yeah. the song the, the, they're just some there's some outstanding like pop songs on here but it does yep. it does start to get Sammy until possibly I think the last track um, changes gears the ninth track. Um, mm -hmm. I also don't necessarily don't necessarily find myself co connecting with the lyrics, but I, not that that's a, I'm not saying that's a problem, but I don't know that they're additive for me. Okay, personally. Anyway, so I, yeah, I I really like this. I think it's really good. I would recommend it. Um, I probably like <clears throat> modern fiction just a little bit better, but I think this is still excellent in, in, you know, the 
jangle pop world. Yep. Awesome. Um, you have anything to add? I don't. No. Yeah, so next one, this is a um, Parisian band <laughs> called called Horses, H-O-O-R-S-E-E-S. -E -E and the album is called Big. This is their kind of their third LP. I think this is their best or the one that I connect with the most. It's kind of indie indie rock with some like synth pop sheen. They are French, vocals are in English. Um, what did you think of this one? Um, so let's see. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get enough time to spend with this record, uh, but I did re-listen to it this morning and, and, and get in there a little closer. At first listen, just kind of in the background the first couple of times, I thought they were English. Um, and then I figured out they're French. So it clicked a little better for me. Um, it made a little more sense. I, I was getting a lot of, originally I was getting a lot of like uh, Los Campesinos uh, mm -hmm. vibes from them. Um, uh, kind of like a French version of that. I don't know. Um, I don't really have a lot to say about it. I didn't really, like I said, didn't spend enough time with it to form a, a really final opinion on it. I'm going to certainly uh, go through it a little uh, uh, better and, and listen to it a few more times. But um at this point, I'm a little ambivalent about it. I, I do like the, the second and third track quite a bit. Um, but yeah, just something about it didn't didn't catch me right away. What are okay. your thoughts? Yeah, so I think that there's three. I, I'm not even sure, but I think there's three different vocalists. And I think that the first time I listened to the album, you know, from beginning to end, one of the vocalists I wasn't really feeling. And I think that was kind of getting in the way of me appreciating the album as a whole. But there was enough yeah. songs that that kind of that I liked and kept coming back to. And now I think I'm digging the album as a whole fairly well. Um, it definitely, to me, it has an American indie rock. Like, like they're really... Um, the music, yeah. They're really wearing that i would almost say mostly like uh, early aughts indie rock specifically like it yeah. feels like a lot of the songs could be or i guess i would say they would fit in with something from like the new york city scene from that turn early turn of the century stuff there's a couple songs that remind me of like the new pornographers um even like frank black and the catholics um there's a, some sense of humor that I also appreciate. Um, I definitely feel like I like this more than you, but I also will say that it probably took me, like I definitely warmed up to it more and more over time. Um, like I say, I did have an issue with some of the vocals, um, but yeah, kind of warmed up to it. I do, do like it. Horsies from Paris. Yep. I'm living all still. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, I think it's good. So sing along with me if you're living all still. You gotta sing along with me if you're living all still. Uh, so my second pick is... Uh... Probably no surprise, a uh, big indie indie rock release. Uh, Mary Timoney, um, her new album called Untame the Tiger. Um, just another top-notch uh, release from her. It's her fifth solo record, if you count uh, the 2007 release uh, from the Mary Timoney band. Uh, it's the the fifth. Uh, what, what, are your, what are your thoughts on this one? Yeah, I'm a... I'm a big fan of, of Mary Timothy. Almost almost everything that she's done, including work in other bands, you know, obviously Helium, 
the spells, Wild Flag, mm -hmm. X Hex more recently, you know, et cetera. Yep. I think this album is excellent. Um, as with her other, like more solo stuff, the very introspective um, or somewhat more introspective than some of the band material that 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 she's involved in. I mean, like certainly like X Hex with the rip more like riff rock. This doesn't necessarily go there. And yeah. it also still has the occasional kind of medieval vibes that yep. I kind of like. Um, kind of mystical or whimsical. Yeah. yeah. So I I think maybe I like the the first side of this better than the second side, but I also feel like that's kind of evolved yep. over time with me too. So I think overall really, really good. Um, yeah, I'm surprised. I'm actually, I mean, I know that Mary Timoney is obviously has a pretty big following and had, has had a long career, but I'm surprised more people don't, um, like I don't get the sense that, that, that she's as revered as I, as I revere her <laughs> in the in yeah, general. No, I, I would agree. Um, I mean, I think that she has, uh, there's some elements there that are a little more abstract for most music listeners to sort of integrate although you know that's probably more prevalent on her earlier releases i feel like i feel like this one is is pretty straightforward and, and polished um yeah those those early um uh the early solo records i could see you know the the usual music listener not really getting but um, yeah, uh, certainly this is a little more straightforward, but uh, yeah, I mean, I agree. It's it's a really uh, great record. I I also follow her pretty closely, and um, you know, uh, the one of the highlights is that XX record from a few years ago. Um, that's great. I like I loved her stuff on on the Wild Wild Flag uh, uh, Super Group um, right. as well. Um, and uh, yeah, I was uh, surprised by this one. Uh, it's a great progression from you know the the early stuff. Uh, you can you can get a little bit of a taste of uh, some of the uh, stuff she was doing in X Hex, sort of carrying over uh, music wise, yeah. instrumentation wise, um, and uh, yeah, just great lyrics. You know about adult human things. Uh, you know, there's a great track on there. Um, I think it's called the guest, if I remember correctly, uh, about, you know, just loneliness and being isolated. I'm sure it's, yeah, this was probably conceived over the pandemic is my guess, but, um, yeah, great stuff from her. Very happy, very happy with it. So you want to talk about uh, highlights next, or should we flip? Yeah, it? how do you want to do this? You want to do? You want to go? You want to rapid fire, or you just? Or do you want to? You say one, I say one, and then we'll say if the I other. Can just, I think we can just rapid fire them, but I think we should start. I'm going to start with the disappointments. I know you probably don't have them. I'll start with the disappointments and failed listening experiments. So, and then we'll end me, so, with the good stuff. Okay, I just have a ball of a handful of albums that I'm going to mention okay. and say a few things about. It. They're not necessarily highlight. I mean, there are some of them are highlights, but some of them are sure. less so highlights. Mention but I will it. mention. Yeah. I will mention that. Okay. Um, you can go ahead. If you okay. got some lowlights, you want to. You got some stuff you want to trash. Let's let's. Do I it. do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I want to light these fuckers up. No. Um. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, listening experiments for me, uh, you know, there's too many to count. You know, I've really upped my game since last year of, of, of trying out and listening to new stuff. I uh, recently got access to uh, uh, Apple Music Streaming. That helps immensely. I don't have to listen to the horrible uh, ads on Spotify any longer. Uh, so yeah. um, uh, a couple, you know, bigger releases that I tried and I w didn't succeed. I'm not trashing them. I'm certain, certain that they're high quality and, and, you know, some people like them, but 
uh, for for me, I, I tried the kid, the new Kid Cudi, and you know I've liked his past releases, uh, but I just couldn't do this one. It was just it was too much, too much Kid Cudi. It was way too many tracks, and just kind of it seemed almost like a caricature, uh, like it was Kid Cudi doing Kid Cudi. I, I don't know. Uh, that's called Insano. Uh, that came out earlier this year. Um, I didn't. Too- I didn't listen to that. There's two records uh, that came out sort of to, you know, it was, they were very um, highly anticipated. Uh, one from the Idols uh, called Tank. Uh, Tang. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then also, hot album. yeah, Hot Album, uh, Future Islands, People Who Aren't There Anymore. Uh, you know, I was hearing a lot of anticipation for that one. I tried both of those out. I, I couldn't get into either of them. I don't really have much else to say about them. Did you, uh, do you like that? Do you like what they did before at all? No, I, I, I was never, they were never on my radar. So I was just giving them a try. Um, are you familiar with those two bands? Yeah, you didn't like the, or you didn't, you, you weren't familiar with, I can't even, now I'm not going to remember the name of it. Nonetheless, yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, which, which band? I do both. I was going to mention something okay. about both, but, um, I wouldn't say I'm the biggest Future Islands fan, but there's a couple albums that I really like and okay. listen to a lot at the time that they were released. And now I'm sure. not going to remember their names. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I can see that vocal being kind of an acquired taste. Yeah. I think. It was mainly the vocals. Well, and maybe the little lyrics that just didn't, they weren't landing for me. Um, but you know, yeah, I've not even listened to them. I like them. the last couple of Future Islands that didn't really listen to very much. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Another. Yeah. So yeah, those moving are on. Failed to, listening experience, experiments. Yeah, there's there's many others. I have a long list, uh, you know, on on Apple Music that we don't even need to get into. But uh, disappointments uh, for me, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of these two bands, but listen to their new records and just was fairly disappointed by you know the showing uh it's uh the new vaccines record uh pickup full of pink carnations i mean you can probably get from the the very odd title uh that it's not gonna be very good <laughs> but that was a uh, pretty disappointing i'm a huge vaccines fan so i was let down by that and then uh, the new i Sleater agree Home. i i agree with you on that on that vaccines i tried listening to it when it came out okay. and did not did not couldn't get into it Really? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were a, a fan of them or not. Uh, yeah, they've gotten, I think they moved to LA or something, and they've just gotten way more poppy in recent years. Um, and this one just, I don't know, what, I didn't find it to be that good. But uh, also the new Slater Kenny, you know, not a huge fan of. Uh, granted, it's it's a, it's a sort of a more uh, downbeat record or, or more, I don't know, but morose subject matter uh, uh you know death and and grief and things like that so granted you know you're, you're not gonna have a lot of pop hits on a record like that but uh just uh couldn't really there was nothing to grab on on to uh from from that one at all have you listened to that one yeah but not very much i i, I yeah. don't know that i like it too much at this point i'd have mm-hmm. to listen to it again yeah um, so do you want me to do my highlights or do you want to talk about, I'll do my, why don't, you, and... why don't we just run through all and, okay. and, and then, then I'll, I'll, I'll mention some things here at the end. Yeah. So, so other albums of high quality, um, that I do want to mention, um, that I stumbled onto, uh, there's a album called, uh, or album from a band called Elephant Stone, uh, called Back into the Dream out on, I think it's probably their uh, label Elvins on Parade, Fuzz Club. Uh, really enjoyed that one. Um, so uh, yeah, that that's one that was on my list. Um, I I like that band. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. So this is like Montreal psychedelic rock band. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That, I don't know that this is one of my favorite albums. But again, probably only listened to it. I listened to it I think three times. Um, yeah. And it definitely has some. Um, modern pop like tame impala elements okay. yep. in there as well that. i would just i would just say um but yeah i like that band 
Yeah, they're good. And then uh, a new band out of Chicago called Frico. Uh, they have an album called Where We've Been, Where We Go From Here out on ATO Records. Uh, this probably is a would have been a contender for my my uh, uh, two by two. Uh, okay. But I got to it too late. Really good, you know, 90s influenced indie pop stuff. Um, you know, they're getting a lot of play in our area. I'm not sure around the country, but, you know, I'm in Chicagoland. So uh, uh, they're getting some airplay on, um, on the big decent station in the area. Um, they're really good. Just, you know, another record that almost every song is really good. Um, are you familiar? Did you listen? I have not listened to that. Okay. And, and I've seen it. I've seen like the the cover, the name, but I've not I've not listened yeah. to it now. Yep. Um, the new album by Sprints uh, called Letter to Self out on City Slang come out. It was an earlier release. I think it came out in either January or February. Yeah, it came out I, I was January. Really by it. Yep. Is that on your list as well? It was not on my list. I know a lot of people really like it. it. I, I feel like yeah. I feel like I like it, but not as much as a lot of people seem yeah. to like it yeah yeah um yeah it, to me it, it kind of feels similar to the uh album that came out last year cable ties um female oh, yeah, like, like that kind of heavy yeah. heavier harder rock stuff uh yeah good stuff um um america hackman a uh, new album called big sigh on in chrysalis records um just really good female you know singer songwriter type stuff um a band called topographies uh their album called interior spring on on dark entries i'm assuming this is probably on your radar sam uh sam you've listened to this one i have not yeah. listened to that yet it's on my okay. radar though um the new album by uh griff friss uh the uh, former lead singer of uh super furry animals uh sadness sets me free out on rough trade uh, you know, I, I love everything he does most of the time. And, and this is no exception Really good, solid record. Um, yeah. I've been liking that one also. Yeah. Yeah. Really good. Uh, and then, uh, finally, uh, hooray for the riffraff. The past is still alive. This is high profile, uh, sort of indie release, uh, that everyone's, um, uh, having, having a good time with out on, uh, non such record records. Um, I, you know, uh stumbled onto her last year with with her big record and you know uh the main uh singer there yeah she's very talented and has a unique um um way of doing things but uh yeah this is also a really good one um i'm, I'm digging it so yeah all right so I, i'll mention a few albums i don't have them broken down as as um like you you, you do a lot better job of saying I like these. I don't like these. I, I don't really have that. Uh, the more there's a band called the Maureens. They're they're Dutch. <laughs> you saw okay. the, the Europe stuff. I'm gonna keep. Going. They're like, they're they're like a Dutch band. They they're a long running band. They've been they've been at it for a long time. The album is called Everyone Smiles. To me, you can hear like the Jayhawks, um, Teenage Fan Club, the Birds. So it has it's it. It's super catchy, earworms. Um, what was I going to say? It has a bit of country, you know, a little bit of, a okay. little bit, not a lot. A little, like, think about the, like, poppy, poppier Jayhawks okay. stuff in that, in that realm. Um, that one's on Meritorio, the, it's the label that I like. So that, that album, actually, I, it exceeded my, I did, was, didn't have a lot of um didn't expect to like it as much as i did just has songs that just get stuck in your head um or in my head have you heard heard of them or heard that no i haven't but it sounds like it's up my alley i i love i think that one you would like yeah, yeah i think that I one you would dutch, like more than the next one dutch power pop love dutch yeah okay things. yeah so yeah, i'll have to check that out definitely check that one out um Another one, and this one's probably polarizing, is it's a they're from London called C, like the letter C, Turtle, C, Turtle. Album is called Expensive Thrills. Um, there were songs that were released, like leading up to the release of the full album, that I was 
really liking. And so I had high hopes for the full album. And I'm still, I still like it, but I think that I, I didn't wind up liking it as much as I thought I was going to possibly. Although, again, only probably listened to it a few times. Uh, very lo-fi, fuzzy, 90s influence indie rock, but they're like a young, like they're very young group out of London. Um, Granddaddy, Blue Wave. Yep. Did you listen to that one? I know. I did. Um, I did. It was highly anticipated for me. I'm a big fan. Um, I was kind of tepid with it. I mean, it's okay. it, it's got some good songs. Um but you know, I, I've since heard more about sort of the conception of the record, and it makes a little bit more sense that he was kind of trying to do like a like a new uh, bluegrass record, or like a like a like a, a future bluegrass record, or something. And that's why it's a little quieter and and you know more drawn out, slower in, in pieces. Uh, so that makes a lot more sense, knowing that you know, the, the, uh, conceptual background of it. Uh, but even so, um, there were only a handful of tracks I really liked a lot on it. So, but it's, it's okay. Yeah. That one I liked a lot. Um, I would have thought that someone that's liked them a long time would also like this, but apparently that's not the case. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I also I really like the Letitia. I can't say her last name. Letitia from Stereo Lab. Letitia Sadier. Is that how you say Sadier, her name? Yeah, probably Sadier. You got um, me. Hey, um, you're the expert on Europe, so you know. Um, is called rooting, <laughs> rooting for love. Um, of the like solo, the solo type material that she's released. This one, I really like. Probably more. I would say. Uh, the Umbrellas second album, Fairweather Friend. I like that a lot. Uh, there's something on Slumberland by an artist called Tori, T O R R E Y, kind of self titled. Okay. This is poppy shoegaze slash dream pop female lead vocals. First listen on this, I was fairly, I guess I would just to say, not super into it, but um. When I came back to it, I, I was digging it a lot more. Uh, do you like Ty, Ty Siegel? Um, it, he he's on my list to to delve into a little bit more. Um, and I did, you know, I, I tried to listen to it on Apple Music a little bit, but I just did, I didn't get around to it. Uh, much. So yeah, so Three Bells, the album I think it came out a month or two ago at this point. Um, I I think. He is super talented, and for somebody that is as prolific as he is, it's somewhat incredible that so much of that volume is of such a high quality. Um, sure, but this album didn't really didn't really grab me. Okay, so maybe so I'm possibly not in that into this one, but I might need to spend some more time with it. It might be another one. Like I literally yeah. listened to that two times, so. Yeah, I got to get back to that one. I got to get back to the Tory record. I listened to it once. Um, yeah, what did uh, you think about that on your, on one listen? Well, I it, similar to what you said, like it just you weren't that impressed with it, but um, you know, yeah, you gotta spend a little I, time came, on these records. I listened to it when it came out, and then maybe a week or two later, I came back to it again, and yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I I thought it was a lot stronger that that like I thought it was a really strong record the second time I was doing the first time I was like uh it kind of didn't maybe just sometimes yeah. you're just not in the mood for something yeah or you just don't have it up loud enough I I think which was my case I just mm. <laughs> I was doing something at work and you know it was just on in the background I, I couldn't really hear it so I need to I need to revisit that one but I did also listen to the other two that you mentioned right before which were uh the umbrellas I really like that um mm -hmm. And then what did you say before the umbrellas? Letitia. Yeah, I, I, I like that one as well. Uh, there isn't. It's a lot of French. I know that my lot of French lyrics. Yeah, so, I, or vocals. there isn't big hits on it for me, but I, I think it's a quality record. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I thought that was really good. Yep. Good stuff. Yeah. Do you like real estate? Oh yeah. Do you? Okay. So. <laughs> I had recording. more on my list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I uh, I listen to the real estate record, um, and I like it. I think it's it's uh, Daniel. Yep, Daniel. It's pretty high quality. Uh, good stuff there. It's just you know with them, you know they just I don't know. It, it's it's a little samey um, from the previous releases. Um, yeah. So for me, I like. I don't like it as an album. I like okay. some songs a lot, but as a, listening to it as an album, it just doesn't. I don't really care for it. I guess. If that makes any sense. It, yeah, it makes sense that you, 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 I think I could, spend a little bit more time thinking about abstractly this as a record. I'm more of a, because of the way I review music, I listen in track by track and I review each track and I'm basing whether or not I like the album on how many tracks I liked. Um, mostly, I mean, obviously I still consider, you know, the, the album as a whole, but I, it, it's a little less, it's more scientific. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when you're, when I'm thinking about sitting down with an album and playing an album, yeah, that's why I kind of think about: Do I want to listen? Like, like how does this whole thing, this whole yeah. thing, work? You know. Um, but yeah, like I can see plucking off a couple couple songs from that real estate album, putting them onto mixtapes <laughs> or whatever. How about yeah. packs? P A C K S Pax Melt the Honey. They're they're Canadian. Third LP. I like the second one. I didn't like it as much as I think some people did. Um, but I liked it. It's very '90s alternative rock, female vocals. Um, it's what well, I think. It's a good album. Solid album. Okay, I'll have to um, check that one out. I I don't know that I got around to that one. I don't think I How about it. Meat Bodies? Flora, Ocean, Tiger, Bloom. I guess I'm going to cut this out and put it in. <laughs> Might as well, yeah. Flora, Ocean, Tiger, Bloom. It's kind of fuzzy, garagey, a little bit shoegaze-like stuff, and sometimes has a very smashing pumpkins-like um, guitar sound. Um, okay. Okay. I was just wondering if you've heard that. I, I, I don't. I have not. I've only listened to it one time. I need to spend more time with it. it it's. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Last I'll one. I, I thought, last one I thought I mentioned is Astral K, the Foreign Department. It's a guy from a like another London band, sticking with my Europe theme, it's from the band Ulrika Spacek. I saw somebody say like Beach Boys meets craft work. Okay. Which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Again, it's another one. I listened to it one time. So um, it's interesting. I might like it. I'm not sure. I need some more time with it. Blah, blah, blah. But I thought I'd ask if you'd listen to it. I have not, uh, but I will be taking note of these uh, last few that you mentioned uh, so I can <laughs> okay. backtrack on them. Absolutely. Well, cool. Anyway, so there's some some albums. Bar, bar They're out albums. there. Yep. Yeah. Should we just end it? Yeah, let, let, let's just end it. Okay. <laughs>